While appearing at a Monday night football show, former Manchester United striker and current Derby manager Wayne Rooney gave his take on his former team bringing back Cristiano Ronaldo, and Rooney did have a lot of things to say about his former teammates' performances at Old Trafford. PSG are reportedly interested in signing a player from the Italian Serie A who isn't playing for a top side but deserves to be in one for sure. Ronald Araujo has reportedly decided to sign an extension with Barcelona after taking advice from fellow countryman Luis Suarez. Lille are dreaming the impossible, the return of Ed Nazar, whose career at Real Madrid is all but over. Can the Liga inside make the move happen? Liverpool might have won the first leg of the Champions League quarter-final against Benfica, but the Portuguese giants were not happy with the refereeing during the game and have cried foul. So you lot know the drill, hit the subscribe button and get ready for your daily dose of all things football. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favourite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they are involved in other breaking news. It is the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. Liverpool have one foot in the semi-finals of the Champions League and will be looking to build on the result from the first leg at Benfica. The final score was 3-1, but upon closer inspection, it wasn't an easy game. Benfica jostled the Reds for a good part of the second half, being dangerous on the counter-attack, scoring on one of them and believing that they should benefit from penalty call that should have stood. It was in the 67th minute and the score was 1-2. This was when Darwin Nunez was hooked by Virgil van Dijk. The Dutch centre-back used his arm to hold the striker who fell to the ground and claimed a penalty kick. The referee, though, did not flinch. Following the game, Nunes said that it was a clear penalty and added that it should have at least gone to VAR. Indeed, the technology is there to be used, so you have to wonder why the referees are not referring controversial calls to VAR. Nelson Verissimo was also not very happy with the refereeing and understands that at 3-1 it is very difficult for his team to find a way back into the competition. The end is near for Ed Nazar. At the end of his contract in June 2024 at Real Madrid, the Belgian international should leave the Spanish capital this summer. Dismissed from Carlo Ancelotti's 11 this season, the former Lille player has been going through a long desert crossing in recent weeks and is pushing to leave the Morang ship during the next transfer window. The last time he started a game was on January 23rd against Elche in La Liga, and now the 31-year-old striker has seen his club make an important decision in recent days regarding his future. As revealed by the Daily AS, Ed Nazar will leave Real after his surgery at the end of the season. The Belgian international had to undergo an operation to remove the osteosynthesis plate from his right fibula a surgical intervention which forces him to be out of commission until summer. According to the source, the Spanish club will be looking to loan Azad out this summer so he can get some playing time and show up in order to be sold the following year. Florentino Perez has completely drawn a line under the striker, preferring younger options like Rodrigo or Marco Asensio. With the colossal transfer window planned for this summer, the Belgian knows he has to leave and is already looking for a new home base. At the end of December, Lille supremo Olivier Letang evoked the idea of Ed Nazar returning to Lille, 10 years after his departure. If Azard can come back, I will look for him myself in Spain if necessary. Of course, he is a great player who is under contract with Real Madrid. It will be difficult, that's why I said it in a joking tone," said the sports director. A dream that could well come true for the Mastiffs, who've never been so close to a return of their prodigy. With the one-year loan option offered by Real Madrid, Lille could do well for the next season. If Chelsea presented themselves as a serious candidate to re-sign the player, the recent sanctions imposed on the English club give even more hope to Lille, which could, for its part, sort out the premature departure of Hatem Ben Arfa. However, the issue of salary remains a major unknown in this case. Who can stop Barcelona this year? In the midst of a historic sporting crisis at the start of the season, the Blaugranas seem transformed since the arrival of Xavi Hernandez on the bench. Today, the Catalan players give hope to the supporters and are getting closer to qualifying for the Champions League. Helped by an ambitious winter transfer window, Barca shine on the national and international scene and plan to strike a huge blow this summer in the transfer market. If the extension of Usman Dembele is one of the major objectives of the club for the coming months, Joan Laporta is also eager to get another precious signature, that of Ronald Araujo. 
Courted by big clubs like Man United and Paris Saint-Germain, the Uruguayan central defender is expected to sign a new contract with the Blaugrana in the coming days. The player himself has confirmed an appointment scheduled for this week to finalize the case. This week, we will have a meeting to talk about my contract. I hope that everything will be settled soon so that I can continue for many years at this club. I am very optimistic, said Araujo before adding, I am very proud of being a Barcelona player. I'm happy. We're working on it. Very good news for Barca, especially when we see the recent performances of the Uruguayan defender, a real revelation of the season in his position. If the extension of Ronald Araujo is now almost done, it was not always the 23-year-old's priority, who, for a time, was considering experimenting with other teams. Only the latter would have been convinced by the Blaugrana project, helped by a former member of the team. As journalist Gerard Romero reveals, Luis Suarez played a decisive role in the final choice of his compatriot. The former Barca striker spoke at length with Araujo for him to renew this season. As has often been the case, Leonardo is looking to Italy to strengthen PSG in the next transfer window. PSG are on several cases at the same time. There is, of course, the extension of Kylian Mbappe, which is urgent, with the player coming to the end of his contract next June. He is not the only one, because the management also wishes to extend three other players, Marquinhos, Marco Verratti and Presnel Kempembe all linked to the Rouge et Bleu until 2024. If these cases are not pressing, it is all the same to make a first contact. Leonardo, whose future is clearly not defined either at PSG, is also making contacts for the next transfer window. There may be changes in the Parisian workforce because a lot of people are likely to leave, such as Herrera, Draxler, Kurzawa, or even Icardi, to name a few. They will have to be replaced and the Corriere della Sport tells us in its columns today that the Brazilian sports director is hunting for talent in Italy. He has in his sights a certain Edison, the midfielder of Salernitana, a team that is fighting for its survival in Serie A. Arriving only this winter from Corinthians, against a transfer estimated at 6.5 million euros, Frank Ribéry's new partner has quickly made a place for himself in the squad with five starts in the league out of seven matches played in total. Sadly, his performances have not helped rectify the club's situation. It is in any case, Edison has been promised a bright future, according to Walter Sabatini, the manager of Salernitana. I hooked up with him. He's a 22-year-old player who will soon go play the Metala in a big club he said two weeks ago. According to Corriere, PSG already know the midfielder's price. It will be necessary to pay around 26 million euros for a player under contract until 2026. If they go down to Serie B, which looks likely, the Granata will have no other choice but to sell. Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney believes that it was a mistake to bring back Cristiano Ronaldo to Old Trafford last summer. Ronaldo returned to the club where it all started for him. His arrival was expected to be a turning page in the club's history. Sadly, things have not worked out well for the player and the club. United are likely to miss out on a top four spot this season and Ronaldo has been linked with a swift exit. And Rooney, who played with Ronaldo for a number of years, says that Ronaldo is no longer the player he was in his 20s, which is quite natural. I think he scored goals, he scored important goals in the Champions League early on in the season, he scored the hat-trick against Tottenham, but I think if you're looking to the future of the club, you have to go with younger, hungry players to do the best and lift Manchester United over these next two or three years. Obviously, Cristiano is getting on a bit. He certainly isn't the player he was when he was in his 20s, and that happens, that's football. He's a goal threat, but the rest of the game they need more, they need young, hungry players. Rooney also spoke about United's hunt for a new manager and threw his support to Mauricio Pochettino. However, we must add that Eric Ten Hag is reportedly the favourite at the moment, with the Dutchman's overall record giving him the edge over the PSG coach.